Today we're going to discuss the story of Hajar, the wife of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now imagine having a newborn child postpartum and your husband takes you on a journey to a barren, hot desert and leaves you there to figure it out alone. Most of us would fume with anger, consider it neglect, and probably never speak to our husband again. The Prophet Ibrahim السلام, did just that with Sayyidina Hajar, the mother of Sayyidina Ismail. And she followed Sayyidina Ibrahim and asked him, Oh Ibrahim, where are you going, leaving us in this valley where there is no person whose company we may enjoy, no anything to enjoy? And she repeated it several times, but he did not even look back at her. What would you have done at this point? Sayyidah Hajar then asked Sayyidina Ibrahim, did Allah order you to do this? And when he responded with yes, she then said, then Allah will not neglect us. Now, do you accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's test for you that easily? Do you remember to trust that he will not neglect you too? How often have you been in situations when you felt like you've had to parent alone or just be by yourself? far away from friends and family, a spouse, right? Now, after some time, Sayyidah Hajar started to get thirsty, and so did her baby, son Ismail. And she was so upset by how thirsty he was. And so she saw that the closest mountain was al Safa, and she ran there to try to find somebody to seek out help. But she didn't find anyone. And she ran to the next mountain, al Marwa to find someone to help. But she couldn't find anyone there either. But she persisted. And she ran back and forth seven times between the two mountains, hoping to find anyone. The point is, she didn't give up. She knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasn't going to leave her. You see, the story exemplifies the strong bond a mother has towards her child, which is a sign of Allah. And it also teaches us the importance of not neglecting trusting Allah, and also taking the time to do the work itself. She didn't just look once and then give up and say, oh, poor me, this is a terrible situation. She kept going despite the scorching heat. She put her trust in Allah that was so strong. Till this very day, we commemorate that trust that she put in Allah during Hajj and Umrah, and we ourselves mimic it by running between the two mountains of Safa and Marwa seven times, just like she did, as a reminder to never give up and to show up and to do our portion of the work and then let go and let God. See, after we've done our part, to let Allah do the rest. And Allah reminds us in the Quran that whoever puts their trust in Allah, then he will suffice him. And to take comfort in knowing that when we trust Allah, He will never forsake us. Now, that trust earned Sayyidah Hajar one of the most incredible miracles in history. While she was running between the two mountains, she heard a voice on the mountain of Marwa. And when she looked there, she saw Angel Jibreel in the same spot where her son Ismail was. And where his foot was kicking there. And she was amazed to see flowing water at Ismail's feet. And when she began to push the soil around the water to make a basin, it just kept flowing and flowing. And so she said to it, Zem, Zem, stop, stop. She was worried that the water was going to run out. Until today, we call this water Zem, Zem. And the Zemzem well continued to flow and millions, millions and billions now of people have been able to drink from the Zemzem water. Zemzem also made that city that was barren a thriving, bustling center that today all people refer to as the Mecca of humanity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the kind of trust that he granted our mother Hajar and allow us to accept what he chooses for us and allow us to seek comfort in healing and knowing that he will not forsake us.
that he is there for us, that he will not neglect us. We just need to show up, do our part, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do the rest. Have you ever experienced results of trusting in Allah, doing your part, and then letting go and letting God? Take a moment and share with us in the comments below.